morning, everybody. The other day on Twitter, I saw someone was posting, it's a Chilu Hashem alert, when there was a Hasidish doctor, a Lubavitcher Chassid, with strong ties to, to our Hungarian communities as well. He, he had his practice in Curious Joel for a long time. I don't know if I'm allowed to even mention his name on YouTube without getting removed. Uh, and he happens to be my Rub's doctor as well. And I don't necessarily agree with everything that he teaches. However, he's a doctor and I'm not. And they were saying, Chilu Hashem alert, because he was speaking in front of a group that wants to stop child abuse. And, and the people on the left call them conspiracy theorists and this and that. And he was speaking about upholding biblical values and fighting against polytheistic, uh, you know, ritual child abuse and things like that, that are rooted in, you know, ancient things that the Bible spoke against, right? And... <coughs> with all that being said, where is the Chil Hashem alert for the senator from Connecticut with a Jewish-sounding last name? I don't consider him a Jew, he's an apostate, he's a heretic. But to the world, he's a Jew, and halakhically, he has a, a probably, if, if his mother is also Jewish, which I don't know, he has a, he would have an obligation to repent, and, and either way he has an obligation to repent, whether it's the seven, the seven mitzvahs, or to, uh, or, or to, or if he's Jewish, to Judaism, and if he's not Jewish, he could convert, you know, especially the Jewish last name like that. Uh, if he would turn his life around and, and change his ideology. But nonetheless, this man with a Jewish sounding last name, the U.S. Senator from Connecticut, Blumenthal, he got up to speak with much words of praise at a anniversary meeting of the American branch of a party that killed more innocent people than the Nazi party. And of, a, and of a party that currently the, that runs China and is engaging in a genocide against a Muslim population there in China. And he's speaking with very high praise about this very evil party. Where is the Chilo Hashem alert there to fight against the communists? That someone with a Jewish last name should be speaking with such fondness at a meeting of... of of the party that has brought more evil to the world than any other organization in world history? No, we got to be worried about a, a fringe group, uh, you know, that is fighting against child abuse. Those are the bad guys. And the people who have murdered at least a hundred million innocent people since the beginning of the 20th century. And they're really, their only difference between the, the, them and the Nazis, the Nazis were the National Socialists and the Communists were the International Socialists. Otherwise, they're, they're pretty much all the same. And, and the International Socialists are worse. As bad as the Nazis are, they're both left-wing totalitarian groups. The, you know, the Communists being atheists and the Nazis being New Age neo-pagans or people who reinvent Christianity in their own image, <coughs> eliminating the, all the thou shalt nots, which really eliminates the Judeo-Christian ethic. And so it's not really Christianity, so don't blame the Christians for the Nazis, but and I don't blame the, the regular neo-pagans for the Nazis, but, but we can't deny the fact that the Nazis were either neo-pagan or what they call positive Christians, which means they, there is no thou shalt not in their Christianity. There is no Ten Commandments in their version of Christianity. So, so that's not Christianity, you know. No concept of sin. Sin is, is, is central to the ideology of Christianity because it, you know that they, they believe that you need salvation from sin, right? So if you eliminate the concept of sin, so then it's not Christianity. You know, I don't, I don't, I shouldn't have to explain this, but my point is, is where is the Chil Hashem alert that Dick Blumenthal spoke in front of the communist 
Party USA anniversary dinner with such praise and, and uh, say, you know, there might be a few minor details we disagree on. Where's where's that Chil Hashem alert? All right, so he's not from, and, and, you know, Dr. Z, he has a long beard and wears a yarmulke. But what's the, there's no Chil Hashem in standing up for Kvayt Hashem, even if you disagree with what he's saying. That's not called the Chil Hashem. That's called, all right, we have a different view about, you know, how certain things in current events relate to certain things in Torah. But he's standing up, Laman Hashem, in order to fight against child abuse, to fight against the, the evils in the world, so, so you might disagree. But that's not called a Chil Hashem. It is a Chil Hashem when someone with a last name Blumenthal gets up and speaks in front of communists and praises them. When we suffered under the communist regimes, you know, with, with all the tzaddikim who stayed in Russia, like the Rimnitz Rebbe and the Rayats from Lubavitch and other tzaddikim, and, and the Sklenner Rebbe's, what they suffered at the hands of the communists, and how many people were murdered, and how many, and how religion was destroyed in the communist countries, and the left wants to bring that here, and what's going on now under communist regimes, the oppression, the destruction. Where, where are all the people who, whenever someone on the right speaks against a terrorist who is not fulfilling the actual ideology of Islam, if you speak against the terrorists, oh, you're an Islamophobic. You're Islamophobe. Or if you talk about someone who, who's not even really Muslim, like Ilan Omar, who if she lived in, in, a, in a country that, that was under Sharia law, she would have been killed many, many times. Uh, she's a, a, a kufar, a kufra, I don't know what the, the feminine Arabic, she, she, she's an infidel, according to every Muslim that I've spoken to, she, you know, she doesn't live up to Islamic law and Islamic ideology. And and yet if you talk about Ilan Omar, you're Islamophobe, right? But if you, if you, if the, uh, the, the communists in China, why? It's because it's not about Islam. It's about are you on the right or are you on the left? So if you're speaking from a right-wing perspective and you support traditional Muslims like Dr. Judy and, uh, and other Muslims who, who live according to traditional Islam and who are not terrorists and who are patriotic Americans and, and love the fact that you know they can express their religious freedom here in this country just like we are happy that we as Jews can express our religious freedom in this country. If that's what you... Uh, you no, oh, that's Islamophobia. But it, but the fact that the, the left wing, that the communists, that Mr. Biden's friends, in, in, uh, and especially his son's bosses in communist China, and, and his son who gives him all his money, right? And this has all been proven. This isn't a conspiracy theory. This we know is a fact. So the, com the left wing, the communists in China, they can commit an actual genocide, put Muslims, the Uyghur Muslims, in concentration camps. And Disney and all the sports teams are all, oh, China, 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 right? Disney filmed Mulan two miles away from the concentration camps, the, the live-action Mulan movie, right? And... And the communists, they put the, the Muslims in concentration camps, and they and they sterilize the women. They're 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 committing an actual genocide, both cultural genocide, religious genocide, and biological genocide against this cultural community, religio cultural community. But to the left, that's okay because they're leftists, just like them, and nobody cares about them, and that's not Islamophobia. In fact, it, 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 you might even be called an Islamophobe if you stand up and say that you want to fight to protect these innocent, good Muslims in China. Right? Because I, I don't even know how that works. It's the same way that when, when you're colorblind, uh, then you're racist. If you follow Dr. Martin Luther King, you're racist. And if you follow Malcolm X before the Hajj, then you're an anti-racist. 
right? And, and Malcolm X had a lot of good points. But it's not something that will work on a national level the way that they're pushing CRT, which is basically Malcolm X before the Hajj. It's basically the, the, <coughs> the racist ideology that he taught, which again, all right, he's fighting for justice and all kinds of things, and, and there's, you know, and he was very articulate, and he was very intelligent, and he, and he expressed himself very well, and he, and he brought out his arguments that were decent arguments, but I, I personally disagree, respectfully. And I prefer Dr. Martin Luther King's vision of where the sons of slaves and the sons of slaveholders will sit in peace and, and harmony instead of what we're seeing now, where they're actually having segregated parks in Colorado. That's what CRT is doing. And you're telling me that the party's flipped. So where's the Chil Hashem alert about that? Where's the Chil Hashem alert that so many secular people with Jewish ancestry and Jewish sounding names vote for the party that started the KKK, voted for a president uh, who I don't believe actually won, but that's beside the point. This tyrant, this racist tyrant Biden, who's occupying the White House right now, and his, his mentor, was a clan leader, uh, Senator Byrd. And he spoke, uh, he said a eulogy at his funeral. And that's, his, that's who he learned from. And he's crying that Texas is trying to stop clan parenthood from lynching black babies in the womb. That that, that that is the population that won't have access to abortion on demand without any medical necessary reason at any point. And we're being told that that, <coughs> that this is the uh, you know the, 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 do you realize where, where's the Chil Hashem alert on that? No, the Chil Hashem alert is, is because a from doctor is standing up speaking to a group that has dedicated their lives to fighting against child abuse and has and, and to stand up for biblical values oh that's the bad guy that's the Chilol Hashem what kind of what, wh where did you learn what a Chilol Hashem or a Kiddush Hashem is that's a Kiddush Hashem what Dr. Z did to stand up you might disagree and then they go say oh they're all anti-Semites if they're anti-Semites, why do they have a Hasidic Jew speaking in front of them? Oh, because they talk about George Soros. George Soros is an atheist. He's not a Jew. His wine is the Ayin He doesn't count for a minion. He's an apostate. So it's not anti-Semitism to speak about evil when there's evil. You know, we hear, you know... Uh, you know, the, 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 you know it, there, there's no anti-Semitism to execute people like, like Julius and Ethel Rosenberg. They deserved it. And so does Bernie Sanders. And so does Dick Blumenthal. And all of these people. And so does AOC. All of these communists who are destroying this country, they, des they deserve what, what Julius and Ethel Rosenberg got. I'm not talking about vigilantism. I'm talking about this is what the government should do. They should stand up against these Benedict Arnolds who are undermining not only America but the world, the blood of all of these innocent women and children in Afghanistan on the hands of anyone who enabled this tyrant Biden to occupy our White House. And you're going to say that Dr. Z, he's making a chil Hashem because he's standing up for biblical values. No. It's the Chil Hashem that we have people like Dick Blumenthal and Chuck Schumer and, and, uh, and, 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 and Bernie Sanders and not only people with Jewish last names, but people, uh, uh, AOC, she also claims some Jewish ancestry. Shkoyach. I, I don't care what, what, what ethnicity or religious background or whatever that your ancestors have, whatever. If you're a communist, you deserve what Julius Nethel Rosenberg got. And it should be done in a legal way. It should be done by the government. I'm not saying that it should be done 
there's there's no vigilantism, but but the government has to stand up and do what they're supposed to do and defend this country from all enemies, foreign and domestic. That is the oath of office that every office holder holds. If you're if <coughs> if you're in the federal government, and where is that when we have a domestic enemies in the government? That's the Chil Hashem. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, comment. We'll see you later.